We're in Union Square? Yeah, we're in Union Square. Get the fuck out it's of here. It's not that far. I'm not trying to go to work. Hey guys, so I am now ready. As you can see, I have my makeup on. I used my Urban Decay Electric Palette again. I'm not exactly happy with it, but whatever. I'm only going to the movies. But um, yeah, I did some extra highlight and contouring just because I was bored and I wanted to play with it. I don't really think I can tell the difference, but whatever. I'm about to leave right now to go meet Alex. And I think I'm running a bit late, so I'm gonna go. So this is Shoya and this is my old classmate and we're just here showing her some makeup stuff. So I've already applied a foundation on her face because she had some blemishes that she wanted to conceal. So we used a cream foundation and now we're exploring lip colors. So we are just in Elf right now. Elf haul. <laughs> Give me two brushes. Yay. My favorite C brush. I use it for highlighting under the brow. Don't look at my brows right now. <laughs> and um, an eyebrow comb for my sister. Awesome. Are you, are you gonna get the lipstick? I think I you should get the lipstick. No one needs lipstick. Need. We definitely don't need lipstick. So we're still in Elf, and I am helping Shoya with eyeliner. Um, She's not used to anyone touching her face, having her try to put on the eyeliner in her waterline. So we're gonna see how it goes. I think it's really tickly for her because she's used to not wearing any makeup at all. So this is the first for her. This is what Shoya looks like now. We've added a little bit of liner to her face. So yeah, it's just something that she's gonna have to work on. I know it's very weird to finally put makeup on after not wearing it at all. Um, so yeah, as long as you get this down and then we can go and move on to other things later. We left ELF and we needed to print the passes to go to the screening and that was such a dilemma. If you want to hear the tale, I will link you to Alex's channel. She just went on like a three minute rant. I'm the and best ranter ever. Watch out Kingsley, I'm coming for you. <laughs> and she doesn't want to send me the footage, so I'm just going to link you to her channel. I'll probably put her link right on her face right here. So um, yeah, we're in a cab. We're off to the theater on 42nd Street. The and what are we seeing? What are we seeing? We're seeing... Hold on, puppets. Hold on one second. Where's it? Yeah, you tell them. Get out the way. Uh, we're seeing Inspired by a True Story, Walking with the Enemy. I have no idea what it's about. I have no idea. They look really upset in the picture. So hopefully it doesn't make me cry. I cry really <laughs> easily in movies. Oh, me too. And we're walking with the enemy, Alexandra Molina. That's me. And what does the other one say? Oh, guest. That's her. She's the guest. That's me. Yeah, exactly. So we are out of the movie theater now. We're in Times Square. The Big Apple! I literally hate you this place. You have to say that. No. The Big Apple! No. Hey, my sister, I'm going to send this link to my sister. Every time my sister comes to New York, like ever since she was like, I don't know, eight or something, Nicolette, if you're watching, she would stick her head out the window and she'd be like, a big apple! And oh everybody God. in the streets would just look at her. Love you, Nicolette! Hi, Nicolette. <laughs> um, we just got out of the movie theater. Um, I'm getting my $12 worth. Her billion dollar coat right there. Um, Walking with the Enemy was really awesome. Go they, see it! Yeah. They have a Facebook page and it's facebook.com slash oh, walking with the enemy. Hitting ish because all my vlogs fucking suck. With, what are you doing? <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's time to go home. <laughs> hey guys, so I just got off the train and I'm waiting for the bus to go home. It is freezing. Earlier was such nice weather. It was really nice out. But yeah, it's pretty dark. So I'm just going to go. So you probably have no idea what you're looking at right now, but I am on the Backstreet Boys website and I am about to purchase my gold VIP upgrade for their show. 
So just a little backstory. Um, I bought a ticket to their show at Jones Beach. I was planning to buy a gold VIP package for that show. And when I went to go purchase it, it was sold out. And I was literally heartbroken and you're probably gonna make fun of me for it. But uh, I've loved the Backstreet Boys since I was eight years old. I'm 24 now, about to be 25. So when I saw that the show was sold out, I literally almost cried <laughs> and I don't, I'm, I don't care. I was like, okay, what am I gonna do? So there happens to be a show on the 21st of June, which is the day before the show that I was originally going to go to. So they still had passes, they still had uh, VIP packages available. And the reason why I want this is because you get a individual meet and greet and individual photo with them and you get access to their sound check party and things like that. So my thing is I love, I would love to see them in concert and I'm going to twice actually, but I really, really wanted to meet them. I haven't met them since I was about 15 and that was a while ago and I don't think I've seen them perform since 2005. So I was about 14 years old. So yeah, this, I don't know, you're looking at the price and you're like, are you serious? But yes, and I'm about to purchase this right now. So there it is, it's purchased, and you have no idea how much weight has been lifted off my shoulders because honestly, I've wanted to see them again for the longest time, and now it's going to be a BSB weekend, and I'm okay with that. So I've never really called my, myself a fan of anyone, but honestly, I'm not ashamed to say that I'm a Backstreet Boys fan. I always have been since I understood what music was and since I really started first listening to music, so... Yeah, I don't care if anyone wants to make fun of me. People make fun of me all the time for liking boy bands, but if something makes you happy, don't be ashamed about it. So I love this 50 Cent song in particular that they're playing on the radio, but I hate listening to the radio because the DJs always talk during the song, especially if you're listening to 105.1 or Hot 97. Like, shut the fuck up. Okay, so my makeup is on... Finally, I just finished. I just have to add a lip color, maybe. I don't know. I'm not going out for that long, but I am about to meet up with my friend Melissa, and I'm going to take her to where I got some of my tattoos and my piercing. I don't know if you can see that. My tragus piercing. And she's going to go get her nipples pierced. So um, she said that I could vlog it, but obviously I won't show her boobs or anything, but uh, at least her reaction. So... Yeah, I'll see you guys in a little bit. So it's really cold outside, but yeah, I'm on my way now. Um, I said fuck the lip color because why not? So this is Melissa, and she's about to get one of her nipples pierced. We're not sure which one yet, and I'm trying to not vlog her in her bra right now. Oh, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. It's okay. I only see your straps. How do you feel? I feel like I'm in a porn. A what? A porn? <laughs> Will I scream? You can scream. But it's good to scream a little bit. You'll release some of the pain if you scream. Wait, tell them to make fun of me when I come out of here. Like, you'll be fine. But is they gonna hear me scream? No one has screamed more in my experience of anyone getting a tattoo or piercing than my best friend. She got um. Oh, you can get the needle. I'm sorry, sir. She got her foot done and her ankle and she was screaming. I'm crying. I just like something. It's just a clamp. See how quick that was? And it's done. That one. Okay, okay. Your face. Okay, okay. Can I put my bra back on? Oh, you have to clean it. But it's done. Oh, well, yeah, it's a needle going through your skin. I thought she was on a spin too. You're good. <laughs> Hi guys, so she just got her nipple pierced. How was it? It hurts. It hurts. No, yeah. it hurts now. It hurts now, yeah. She's like, I'm gonna scream. She didn't scream. You'll see the clip. I filmed her. I, I bit. I like to bite. Where's my, where's, oh, I bit this. I was wearing, I wasn't wearing it. Yeah. 
So now we're we're at whatever tattoo. So it's one of my favorite piercing and tattoo shops. And we're with Layla now. I don't know if you can see her. She's gonna get her industrial re-pierced. So um, we're just waiting for her to sign the paperwork and then we'll get her clip. Okay guys, so I'm back home now. Layla ended up not getting her industrial pierced because they only had surgical steel and she's had an allergic reaction to surgical steel before. So she just has to wait until she finds a place that carries titanium jewelry or bring her own, so I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's about nine right now and I think I'm just gonna close out the vlog here. This is probably just going to be like a two-day vlog, so I will see you guys soon. Bye. Good afternoon, guys. It is Sunday, so you know what day it is, so I have no idea what I'm going to film after this clip because I'm heading to work. I forgot my scarf. I feel weird. With this jacket, I feel like I always have to wear a scarf. But, um... Yeah, I'm heading to work now. It's Sunday, so, you know, off the wagon. Photo bomb! No, it's, no, it's, it's my vlog. Say hi, everyone. Hi, vlog! It's my cousin Natalie again. What we up? saw her two, yeah. two vlogs you ago. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah, yeah. I see that. Like, so, we just got out of work, and so we are... We're heading to Off the Wagon now. It's Sunday, so you guys see this every week now. Oh, dear um, God. Are you coming? I am dressed in my uniform. I absolutely am not coming. Shantavia went with her blazer on. I told that bitch, right take now? that shit off. But you're cute. Vlogging world. <laughs> if I took this off, you see Sephora collection. Yeah, no, we're not going out like that. <laughs> They'd be like, um, excuse me, I have a question for you. I'd be like, no. don't you see I'm drinking, bitch? <laughs> I'm anyway, <laughs> so yeah, we're just walking to the bus now, and I'll probably update you guys when we get there. I'll see you later. Natalie said bye. Bye bye. <laughs> hey guys, so we're at Off the Wagon. Obviously, you can't hear me, but hopefully, you can see me. Hello, everybody. <laughs> this, I'm with Jazz, so I forgot to show her when we met up with her, but we're here, and I am drinking. Gin and OJ. What are you having? It's a drink called Delicious by my boo. Delicious. Do you see my boo over there by the bar? Yeah. You know they're like that cat backwards. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're here and we'll be here all night. So hopefully I will vlog if something funny happens. So I'll see you guys. Bye. Hey. So. Hi, vlog. <laughs> so we're leaving off the wagon now. This is Nick. Oh, half an hour ago. Hi, vlog. <laughs> We're still here. So he still hasn't seen himself in my vlog like three vlogs ago. I don't... No, I've, what a vlog. My <laughs> vlog button is broken on my computer. <laughs> I'm gonna tag you in it. Oh, don't, don't worry about it. I don't know how to vlog. <laughs> As a serious intent. So this is know. Nick. He co-wrote Coffee Shop and he's in the residuals. I will link them all down there. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey. Oh, God. Hey. 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 Is that guy? He's like, no, no, no. So, Nick, get, how do you, how are you an actor and you freeze up? Say, hey, vlog. Hey, vlog. <laughs> it's not a real camera. It is a real camera, bitch. It's recording. Well, obviously, but, you know. <laughs> I can't, I can't. It is really dark right now. It's about five o'clock in the morning right now. I only know that because I hear birds chirping and you probably can't even see me right now, but I'm by my house and I decided to walk from off the wagon tonight. It's a little far, but it was a really nice night. So, um, yeah, I'm walking home and it's, awkward that the park is still open. I live by a really big park and it's awkward that it's open right now. 